uh, hi uh, today we are going to see uh, apg uh, platform uh, in this video is mainly for the beginners for apg uh, so how uh, we can start our journey with apg so you can go to this apg uh, url apg.com so once uh, it's land home page uh, you can sign up for the free trial so here you can fill with your email id and uh, your first name last name and your company details and you can create the account so this account is valid for 60 days and also it will uh, come with uh, two environment one is test environment where you can uh, develop your code and save it and other one is production environment and uh, yeah so these are the other features uh, which we'll get it when we do a trial sign up okay so i have already signed up so i log in with uh, whatever the account which i have already so i have already have account This is also pretty much it's a new account only and I'm going to try some basic stuff here. So once you log in, uh, you will be landed into the home page and uh, here if you see, uh, you will have your organization. So this is the organization uh, which I have uh, when I sign up with my ID. And uh, there are many uh, uh, features uh, where you know we can create API proxy here and API products here. Uh, first of all, uh, this APG platform will help to build your API so you can uh, design your API and you can uh, test your API and also you can run your API as well. So API is mainly uh, application programming interface where you can uh, connect many other application and you can you know act as a interface uh, for many other consumers. So when uh, I'll, in this one demo, I'll try to create uh, the proxy. Proxy is kind of a uh, um, mediator uh, where you know uh, you will receive the request to your proxy from the external world and uh, it will connect to backend instead of exposing your backend api directly to the internet you can uh, have the proxy and then you know in this apg platform you can enable security and also other features you can enable it and then you can allow the valid request to your api so in this one we are going to create some new proxy so i'll click this proxy symbol so i click the proxy button there are many options are available so i'll just uh, use this reverse proxy option i'll create a new proxy okay so for this demo i'll just create like a proxy demo and uh, in this proxy demo what i'm going to do is i'm going to invoke some backend url okay so this is the backend url which we already have it in the internet as a free url so which is a mock target.ap.net so when you invoke this url it is giving a message like hello guest so I'll copy this uh, backend API and I'll place it in the this target uh, API. So this is our proxy uh, API name and it runs in this base path. So whenever we call this uh, base path, it's going to invoke this backend API. And then I click next. And then uh, for this demo, uh, I'll uh, go with this pass through option, which means I don't need to uh, provide any authentication when I invoke this API. Okay, I'll just give next. And then here there's a secure option and default option, so which is HTTP and secure is HTTPS. So I'll select only secure uh, because I wanted to uh, invoke my API in a secured manner with HTTPS. And when we uh, create a proxy, it will come with the two URL, one is your test URL and the other is a prod URL. Because it's a trial environment, you have only two environment, but normal enterprise environment, you will have more environment. So here, uh, this is just I developed it. So I wanted to just deploy it in only in the test environment. And I'll click the create and deploy. So it's creating your proxy. So proxy is like, uh, it's a API, but again, you know, it's an intermediate API or we can create intermediator. Uh, when external uh, consumer wanted to consume our API in the backend. So instead of giving a backend API directly, we will give the um, our proxy API. Okay, so I'll copy this one. I'm going to invoke this API now. So this API is nothing but it's going to invoke your backend API, which is this mark, mark target api.net. So in order to invoke this uh, proxy API, what I'll do, I'll just uh, trigger it from the uh, postman, which is the rest client. So this is the URL, proxy demo, get URL. I'll just click send. So when I click send, it's invoking our API platform where this proxy is running and in turn, it's invoking the backend API which is the mark target uh, apg.net so which is giving this response okay so i'll just go to the proxy list so now we have created the proxy and also we have tested the proxy 
So this is our uh, proxy demo is our proxy. So I just click this one. Uh, I'll show you the edit mode of that uh, particular proxy. So it will show uh, the high level. It will show uh, proxy endpoint detail, which will have uh, pre flow and end flow and you'll have a target endpoint with free flow and uh, in flow. So when your uh, proxy invokes, it will invoke this default flow first and then from then you know, it will invoke a target endpoint and then uh, we'll get the response back. And if you wanted to change anything, you have to go to this develop tab and uh, you can uh, change it. So for example, I wanted to change this uh, in the target endpoint. Currently it is invoking a default API. This is a backend API. For example, I wanted to invoke some more API, some other API. For example, this is the API wanted to invoke slash JSON. So already there is in this endpoint also there is a API which gives a JSON response. For example, I wanted to invoke this API. So what I'll do, I'll just go here and uh, I'll just slash JSON, I'll add it and I'll save it. Okay, whenever it saves, it's automatically it's deployed to the test environment as well. Okay, it's saving and as part of that, it's deploying as well. Okay, it's deployed. That's why if you see here, uh, the test, it's deployed. So that's why it's showing green. Otherwise, if there is any failure, it will show the error. Okay, so now I'm going to invoke the same proxy uh, demo API. Earlier, it was giving a uh, hello guest. Okay, so now if I invoke it, it will give the JSON response because the backend API, it's giving the JSON response. For example, this is a JSON. I wanted to convert this to XML. So what I can do is the uh, final backend API is giving the response as JSON which I wanted to convert in XML in a, my proxy. So how should I do it? So you, this is the target endpoint. And uh, so when you open this post flow, you'll have a request and response here in the response, because once you invoke a target endpoint, you will get a response, which is coming as a JSON where uh, I want to add a conversion. I wanted to add a policy. Okay. So there are many policies are available. So in that I'm going to select the JSON to XML conversion policy. Okay. So I have selected that. I'll click add. So when you click add, so it is also coming in the policy section. So earlier, you know, we had only proxy endpoint, target endpoint. Now we have a proxy as well. Okay, so I'll just save it. So I just added it and uh, which what it will do, whatever the response came from the backend as a JSON, uh, which will convert that to, which will convert that to XML format. Okay, so it's already saved. Okay, so I'll just run it again. So earlier, the previous, uh, when I invoked it, it was a JSON. Now in the APG platform, we are converting that JSON to XML as well. Okay, so I think it's not saved and deployed one minute. Okay, I'll just, uh, I, I, I didn't do anything, but I just, uh, spit, uh, I, I gave a space and then I'm just forcibly saving it because my changes are not in effect. Okay, so now I saved it. Uh, okay, so I'll just run it again. Okay, if you see here, now it's converted as XML. Earlier it was coming as a JSON, now it's coming as a XML. Okay, so this way you can, uh, whatever the backend API, if it is giving a JSON, you can adding this JSON to XML policy you can convert that to your XML as well. Okay, so now what I'll do is I'll add one more policy in the request. Uh, so when uh, this proxy uh, invokes, it will come to the default flow, which receives the request where I'm going to add a policy. Okay, so I'll add a quota policy, which will limit number of requests to your API. For example, your backend can accept only three API per minute. Okay, so I just wanted to limit that uh, particular count so that, you know, my backend will not get overloaded. So we can use this quota policy, I'll add it. So this quota and then once you add quota policy in the request, it will give all the default thing. So I'll just say, you know, uh, allow there are three, uh, 2000 by default is there. I'll just give three only. And then uh, I'll just remove this uh, reference because we have given already all the values. And interval, right? So it is one, okay? So, and uh, by default, uh, time unit is its month. I'll just change it to for this testing minute. Okay, because I wanted to uh, allow only uh, per minute. Per minute, I want to allow only three requests. Okay, so this distributed false and uh, synchronous false. Uh, the APG platform has multiple uh, environment. 
so to handle the number of messages which are coming uh, to satisfy the message load uh, so when i submit this one it will shared with multiple uh, instance but i don't want to have have it i wanted to have only one instance to handle it so that uh, when i invoke with this one minute with three thread or one minute with uh, three apis it will satisfy okay so i just gave this two property to true and then i don't want to if you wanted to start with some specific time for example i want to start with 6th july or uh, 12 o'clock utc of 5th july then i can give this time so this policy will start effective from there only so i don't want that i'll remove that and also whatever the unwanted property is there i'll remove it so i'll just keep only allow interval distributed and time unit okay so i want i don't want the properties and also this type calendar also i'll remove so this is mainly required for the start time i'll save it now So it's getting saved here. Yeah, once it's saved, it will allow only uh, one minute. It will allow only three requests. So we'll test that one. Earlier, you know, it can invoke n number of requests. Now I'll just uh, invoke it. So I'm just I, I invoke one. It gave two hundred status. I'll invoke second one. I'll invoke third one. See, it's giving quota limit exceeded with the four twenty nine. Four twenty nine. Too many requests here. So it's exceeded now. So we need to wait for one minute so that you know we can try the request. So this is for the quota policy. And uh, what else? So oh, you have a trace here. So if you want to debug anything, so then you can give a start trace session, start trace session option here. So I just clicked it. So it's enabled. From here also you can test it. So instead of testing from the external tool, you can test your API from here as well. So I'll just test it. One, it's giving two hundred, and also you can see the status here, how much time it took. This also acts as uh, your testing tool. Okay, second. And then third, okay. So now it gave after the third one, it gave the four twenty nine error. Okay, so it will reflect here as well. Yeah, so it's reflected here with uh, the how many seconds, milliseconds it took. So if we see here, it's overall took only twenty milliseconds. So what it does, it's invoking uh, from the APG platform to the backend URL, and it took so overall this much time only. Okay, so I'll just invoke it from externally. I just invoke from the externally, so it give one. Okay, so if you see here, that request also it will come here because we already enabled the trace session. So this is the request I fired from the postman as well. Okay, so I'll just invoke the second one, third one, and uh, and the fourth one. So it's giving a quota limit exceeded. Okay, so this way, if see after third one, it is giving a exceeded error. So in this way, you can control your um, request which is coming to your backend. So this way you can add your uh, policy in the APG platform, and also you can do a lot of conversion. And if you wanted to add more uh, AP uh, policies, there are many uh, policies are here, so which we can use it. Uh, using that, you can you know you can manage your traffic, and you can uh, secure your API, and you can do your conversion, and uh, you can do many stuff. Yeah. So thank you for watching. So if you want more videos uh, from my youtube then you can uh, subscribe uh, my have other uh, uh, ap related videos and other videos are there with which are specific to integration uh, you can uh, watch those videos from this channel thank you for watching thank you bye bye